One constant between all the Dissidia communities is that everybody hates HP spam. The Game Facts forums, the Dissidia subreddit, some people in the Dissidia Discord communities. So I thought it'd be kind of interesting to go over my own personal opinion about it, since I find the whole topic overblown and overcomplicated, and I kind of go against the norm, I suppose, with it. I think that landing HP attacks is usually more impressive than landing bravery attacks. Because bravery attacks come out way, way faster. There's a lot less warning. There's almost no audio cues, no visual cues to the bravery attack. By the time it's actually coming out, you're getting hit by it. I mean, you can block it if you see them charging it up or whatever. And most of the time, you can actually, you know, block it. But compared to HP attacks, there's like almost no warning when it comes to bravery attacks. This makes a lot of sense because you're supposed to build up bravery and then HP attack versus HP attacks just be your killing move most of the time. Bravery attacks are your standard combos versus HP attacks being your super move. However, no matter how much bravery attacks you do, unless you're Furion, it will never progress the match. You need to land HP attacks, of course, to kill your opponents, because the main objective of the game, despite having a ton of buffs on the screen and having all these numbers flash about, the main objective is to get three kills, that's it. And if you're able to land these super slow moves that come out ages after you actually use them to, you know, kill people with, I think that's a lot more impressive than just building up to 3,500 bravery, getting a wall rush, and then doing an HP attack. That's just my opinion though. Also, I've always been about the mentality of if it's fair and if it works, then do it. HP spam is part of the game. There wouldn't be Vaughn if it wasn't, and it wouldn't be like allowed if it was a problem. They wouldn't allow you to do it if it was a problem. Not to mention that most of the time people would just be doing one attack over and over again if they're really HP spamming because they only have one HP attack. So you just play around that one HP attack and then you beat them up. It's not unfair in the game it's been in the game since the launch and it's been I mean the launch of the arcade version not the NT version it's been it's been there since NT since in fact it's been there since like the PSP game because you could easily just press square to win in fact that's what I would do later on in the game when my equipment became so fucking useless that I was doing no bravery damage I would spam those HP attacks and likewise the computer would spam them right back as it started dying because it was about to die and it wanted you to have low health and reach the final boss of that area so like, I'm used to having HP attacks spammed at me, and I, I don't really don't see why people have such a big problem with it. HP attacks have a little bit longer wind-up, so you have to time your dodge a little better, rather than dodging as soon as you see somebody do an attack. Honestly, I find the topic really simple, it's not as complex as people make it out to be. That's why this video is so short, and I guess lightly explained, compared to some of my other videos about other topics in the game. Anyways, I'm Blue the Hedgehog. I want to know what you guys think about HP spam, please put it in the comments below. I just want to know, so you guys think. Maybe you guys hate it, maybe you guys love it. Put a comment down below what you think about HP Spam and Dissidia and see, and I'll see you guys next time on Blue the Hedgehog. Stay safe, turn your mom, and ta-ta for now. Bye. Man, I sound really tired while making this. I'm not tired, though. Oh, well. Bye.